Have you ever been in a situation where somebody asked you for your business card, but you didn't have any physical cards on hand? Well, fear no longer, my friends, because in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to create a virtual digital business card using Canva. Prepare for your minds to be blown. All right, everyone, here we are at the Canva dashboard. And very simply, we are going to be looking for business card templates. So that way we have the proper dimensions. So I'm just going to click on this click blank business card here. And very simply, I'm going to be designing this digital business card after my email signature or Gmail signature. If you haven't watched that tutorial yet, what are you doing? It is a fantastic tutorial, if I do say so myself, where I show you how to add an animated GIF and how to make your email signature clickable specifically for gmail and if you haven't watched the tutorial do check it out i will link it in the cards above or the, the description box below so make sure you watch it after this video so again i'm going to make this business card look pretty much exactly the same as my gmail signature so first off i'm going to look for my photo i'm going to go to logos and i'm going to use this photo right here and then i'm going to go into line here I'm just gonna, I just pressed L on my keyboard as a quick shortcut. And if you wanna learn more about Canva's keyboard shortcuts, I do have a separate video on that, which I will link in the cards above because it's super, super clutch, super helpful. So you don't have to go into elements all of the time. So I'm gonna make this into this teal color here. I'm gonna add some footings just to make it look interesting. And now from here, I'm basically going to add in my contact information. So this is my name, you know, add in your title, add in your email address. If you are a real estate agent, go in and add in your phone number as well. So I'm just going to speed this portion up right here. All right, so now that you have the majority of your contact information there, now what I'm gonna show you is how to make this email link actually clickable. So what we wanna do is click on this, and then we wanna go up into the right corner over here, we see the link button, and just go ahead and click on that. And essentially what we wanna do is just go ahead and put our email address in here once more. And the interesting thing about Canva is that it will populate this for you. So if we click on, after you put your email in, click enter, and it's gonna say link added here right up at the top, which is pretty cool. And that's what it's going to do is basically hyperlink this. So you can see now there is an underline here. So I'm just going to remove the underline from the first part of this text here. And as you can see, again, it's underlined. So if we click on this again, and we go back up to the link bar, we can see it says, mail to mail to colon your email address and so when people when you send this out to people they can actually click on this and it will populate a new message in their preferred um, email program so now we're going to go ahead and add in our elements or our social media icons so as always i like to use the gradient circle i use this one typically most of the time and I'm just gonna make it look like that. Go in and change this. And now we can click Alt on our keyboard and just drag and drop, just like that. Now I'm gonna make this into YouTube, Instagram, and my link tree. So again, I'm gonna go back into Elements. I'm gonna look up YouTube. And I typically like to use this one because I can change the colors. I'm gonna make this into white. And then we're gonna go back into elements and we're gonna find Instagram. Make this white. And then the last one is going to be a website. And you can put in whatever site that you have here. But in this case, I'm just going to put in my link tree. So I'm just gonna size that properly and I'm going to make it white as well. 
Now what we want to do is group these items together. So we're just going to click and drag your mouse and press group up at the top, click and drag, press group up here, and then again, click and drag and press group. Now we're going to add in our link. So click on those grouped items and then we're going to go back up to the top here where it says link. We're just going to click on that and then we're just going to copy and paste over our preferred links. All right, now that we have our links in, I'm going to add in a quick background. So you can do whatever you'd like. I'm just going to bring down the transparency of this, just like that. And now for the fun part, we are going to make this into the digital virtual portion of the video. So what we're going to do is go in up to the right corner here. We're going to click on the share button. And now we're just going to go into more and we're going to click on websites right here. And now we have a couple options of how to present this website, if you will. But typically I just like to leave it on presentation and I'm just going to open this up and Canva is going to populate this as a website essentially. So it's presenting this design that we have created. Now this is going to be a live link. So if you ever change anything on here in the design on the back end and you repopulate this website by just, you know, refreshing the button, it will auto repopulate. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So now that we have this link here, we are going to copy this link and we're going to go back into our Canva design and we're going to scroll down to the bottom on our toolbar here. We're going to go to more down here. If you can see that. Then we're going to click on the QR code right here. And again, we're just going to paste in the link from the open site and it's going to very quickly populate this link for you. And it will also be automatically downloaded right into your uploads over here. So you can see right here, I have three different uh, QR codes generated from Canva. And now if we go back into the opened website before, like I said, if we were to repopulate this, now you have the code here. So essentially now what you can do is go back up to share and we can just simply download this as an image. And we can, if you are on an Apple device like myself, you can download this directly to your desktop and airdrop this to your iPhone as an image and keep this as a saved uh, favorited image in your photo gallery. So whenever somebody asks you for your business card, you can just whip out your photo of your business card and then they can you can have them scan the business card. So let's go ahead and test out this QR code on this design here. All right, so I have downloaded the business card and I have just simply airdropped it to my iPad. If you can see that here, you can't really see it. But anyways, you can see that there is a QR code here. And now what I'm going to do is very simply use my phone to scan this here. So if we scan, and you should see that. And then very quickly, it's going to open up this in the Canva website here. You can see the Canva right, right there, right there. And again, remember, we made this all clickable links. So if we go ahead and click on the email, it should open up a new email for you like that, just like that. If we go back in, we can populate to our YouTube, which it does. Click again on the Instagram icon, it will sh push you to the Instagram app if you have that downloaded to your phone. And if you click on the website, it should bring you to the link tree, which is the link I had specifically for that specific icon. Well, there you have it, friends. This is how you create a virtual digital business card using Canva for free. Let me know how it goes in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And do check out my other tutorials right over here. And until next time, I will see you all next time. Bye, friends.